everyone. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. It's a beautiful day in Los Angeles today. Highs are in the upper 60s. There's a gentle breeze blowing and it rained yesterday so the air was pretty much washed clean. Okay, well, maybe clean is an overstatement. Let's just say that the air is not as filthy as it normally is. Um, and I wanted to talk to you today about a mini haul that I did at Pharmaca.com as well as some natural remedies that I have for uh, cold and flu season which is rapidly approaching. Alright, let's get started then. Um, one of the reasons I like to shop at Pharmaca is because if you put any dietary restriction that you might have into their search engine, like say in my case it would be corn free, um, and then put whatever it is you're looking for, it will give you options as to um, you know those uh, items that they have that are in my case corn free so I always get um, my vitamin D from Pharmaca as well as my omega-3 fatty acids so I picked up those today um, I picked well the last time I shopped there I picked these two up and they just arrived uh, a couple of days ago so I'm you know all set for my omegas and vitamin D3 um, supplements. Two supplements that of course you know are really important for immune system health. Um, additionally I got some elderberry um, supplements. Now I wanted to read to you from um, so, that you're not, so that you won't think that I'm making this stuff up. Uh, a couple of studies that I found online about uh, that, that have been uh, studying uh, elderberry extract. Here's the elderberry extract that I got from Pharmaca. It's um, it's the kind where you just put a few drops into like water, you know, every day or whatever. But let me read to you what it says about elderberry. What I found here, um, a 2001 study published in the U.S. National Library of Medicine states that elderberry extracts are natural remedies with antiviral properties, especially against different strains of influenza virus. Um, a study that was done with patients, I think this was in the late 90s, patients that had influenza um, found that a significant improvement of the symptoms, including fever, was seen in 93.3% of the cases in the elderberry treated group within two days, whereas in the control group, 91.7% of the patients showed an improvement within six days. So um, another study reports symptoms were relieved on average four days earlier um, and use of rescue medication was significantly less in those receiving elderberry extract compared with the placebo. I don't know about you, but this was good enough for me to actually start using um, elderberry. So. As I said, I got this bottle. It's um, it's a little over. An, it's about an ounce um, here, and I haven't tried it yet. But um, I'll probably put drops in my tea or you know in water in the morning. It just depends on you know how I'm feeling. I also bought um, some these zinc and yeah zinc and elderberry lozenges. And um, these are, you know, I'll use these, I'll just like suck on these, you know, as symptoms, you know, depending on how, what kind of symptoms I have, I'll probably just suck on these. Haven't tried them yet, but hopefully they taste really good. <laughs> um, and the last thing that I got is my supplement of choice when I am sick. I've used uh, this for the several years, um, and it's called olive leaf extract. This is like God's miracle to you know to us. Um, this has 15 percent oleoropin in it. It's 500 milligrams per capsule and there's 60 capsules in this um, container. Let me read to you a little something I found about olive leaf and why this explains why, why gosh my hair <laughs> why I use it. Um, all right, olive leaf has antiviral, antibacterial, and, and antifungal properties. So it basically it kills everything that it could possibly kill. Um, it inhibits viral reproduction. 
and Upjohn, the pharmaceutical company, first tested olive leaf extract in the 1960s as an antibiotic, and they discovered that it inhibited, inhibited every virus that they tested it against. Um, it's also been shown to lower blood pressure and um, prevent the oxidation of cholesterol. So it has a variety of uses. Um, but here's what's, what I thought was really cool. It is the first botanical mentioned in the Bible. When the dove, as you can recall, Noah and the ark and the dove, the dove brought an olive leaf in her mouth to Noah, and that's how he knew that, that there was land. Um, it's also mentioned as medicine in the book of Ezekiel, and there are 25 references in the Bible to the tree. So, olive leaf has been around since biblical times, and people have been using it to heal, you know, pretty much anything that, 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 that uh, is caused by viruses or bacteria or fungus. So that's why I use it. And a side note, the first time I tried this, I had a nasty sore throat. And so I broke open a capsule in some warm water and gargled with that on and off throughout the course of the day. By the middle of the second day of doing that, pain was gone. No, throat was healed, no more, no more pain. Immediately, the first thing I noticed when I gargled with it the first time was that the pain decreased almost nothing. But, um, yeah, it's, it's olive leaf, the miracle, the miracle remedy, the miracle botanical, the miracle herb. It's fabulous. Okay, so there are also a few other things that I keep around um, during cold and flu season, and this is actually something that I keep around all the time. This is a spray bottle that I got at Target, um, and inside is hydrogen peroxide, full strength. I keep this in my purse, and this is my hand sanitizer. I also use it to um, spray like any surface that I don't particularly feel comfortable touching. Um, it's cheap. It's effective. It kills everything, you know, on contact. And um, I don't leave home without it. I always have this. Um, another item that, now we're going to get into, oh, well, one more thing before we get into homeopathics. Um, echinacea tea, what can I say? I don't know for a fact that this is corn-free, by the way. Um, I've taken it, I've used it, you know, for years in the past. Um, I haven't used it since I had a really bad reaction in March, but um, I will give it a, I'm going to give it a try and hopefully, you know, it, it won't bother my allergies. Um, and if any of you know anything about this brand, Celestial Brand, as far as whether or not it's corn free, please let me know. Thank you. All right. Now we're going to get into the homeopathic remedies. I don't know a lot in terms of how homeopathics work. I know it's sort of the idea of like cures like. That is, um, they, what they do is they dilute a little bit of the substance of whatever it is that, you're trying, that they're trying to cure you from, and then they give you that, and somehow uh, the immune system knows what to do. It triggers the immune system, I guess like vaccinations maybe, to, to like start fighting off this you know, bacteria, virus, whatever. So, and it works by symptoms. So um, I've talked about this before. So when you're shopping for your homeopathics, um, you basically look at what your symptoms are and then find the best homeopathic that will address that. So I always have sinus failure because I have sinus problems. Uh, you know, I tend to get stuffy and sometimes I get sinus headaches. Um, so I always have the sinus failure in my medicine cabinet. For cold and flu season, last year I started using cold calm. Um, this bites off sneezing, runny nose, nasal congestion, and minor sore throat. I also have Sabadil. I think that's how you say that. This is for um, allergy, itchy, watery eyes, sneezing, runny nose, itchy throat, and nose. And they all have um, different instructions as far as how you take them. So you kind of have to read. It's not like one pill for the day and you're done. Um, like I know the Sinusalia, for example, you take one of uh, two of these every two hours until your symptoms have gone away. So um, just you know, you just have to read on the box which you know how this particular uh, remedy works, and then follow the instructions, and you're good to go. Um, I don't have headaches very often, thank the Lord. Um, but when I do have you know like aches and pains, that sort of things, um, Tramil, I take this. 
and this um, I actually discovered because my vet gave it to my dog after he had uh, uh, some dental work done, <laughs> some de dental cleaning or whatever. So I thought, well, heck, if it works on my dog, I might as well try it on me. And it does work. It does work. Um, I think this you take three times a day until your one tablet three times a day until your symptoms are gone. And um, it's worked great for me so far. I've been using it for a couple of years now and uh, I always have it on hand. The last item is another homeopathic item and it's the chest stall and um, I bought this last year. My mother had a bronchi bron bronchial you know, gunk going on um, and she was coughing a lot so I gave her this and it worked great for her so we'll keep it around and if we have that again this year then I will use it again. And that, my friends, is that. Here's hoping I don't take a flu shot, and um, I'm so I'm very much you know careful about the things that I do to keep myself healthy during cold and flu season. So I hope that some of these natural remedies will work as well for you as they do for me. Um, and remember, drink lots of water and eat a really good diet, get plenty of rest, and let's all tr try and stay healthy this uh, this cold and flu season. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.